Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We're gonna switch up characters to play as Mimi, just for something new, something fresh. And we're going to the Jumble Jungle. Uh, that is a tongue twister if I've ever heard one. There's the controls again, if you for some reason forgot them. They'll tell you that for each and every single world. Yeah, I don't understand that either. <laughs> but anyway, Jumble Jungle. One. Let's go! Um, you can press the A button to skip those little flyby cutscenes partially, like it'll speed them up. So it's not really much of a skip, it's just a speed up, but it does help if you're impatient. And these things move, so you gotta wait for them. Our first moving platform level. But it's not really all that hard, because you got these guardrails here. So you shouldn't have much trouble getting through this, even if you're a beginner. And when you're coming up towards the end, look out for these bumps and don't go too fast. There we go. Well, I guess you could go as fast as you possibly could. I don't see the, any reason that you're going to fly off the edge or something like that there. I mean, that, those slopes weren't that harsh. Um, this stage here, you can either take the zigzag path or you can, like, jump across the palm tree, I mean, the gaps there, like... Well, something like that. <laughs> Not hit the signs or the palm trees, but yeah, you can take little shortcuts like that, and I think I'm just going to be doing a normal one, and I just seen those little pyramid things. That reminds me of the most evil monkey ball stage in the game's history, which you will be seeing later. Oh, I'm getting nauseous just thinking about that monstrosity, and I'm sure you know exactly what stage I am talking about if you've played this game before and have unlocked the final world. Uh, there's ten worlds, if you didn't know that. So, and oh, and on, in order to unlock the worlds, you have to get gold crowns on each the uh, worlds here, and in order to get a gold crown, you must beat the world without continuing, which means you can't run out of lives, essentially. And that's going to take you a lot of practice that this walkthrough probably will not be able to help you with entirely, <laughs> because it's it's Monkey Ball is a game mainly about the feel, and I'm going to take a little... No, I'm not going to risk that. It's moving. I thought that was a flat plane there, and I'm, I don't want to really mess around too much here and waste too much time, although that would probably make you laugh. <laughs> although there's those uh, kinds of people that are like, hey, you're not skilled enough, this is blasphemy, I want only the best gameplay by the best gamers, and you probably shouldn't be talking while you're playing either. Well, I'm like, well, leave and find another video. <laughs> I'm here making these videos for fun and entertainment, as I've explained before, so... Yeah, that's not, th not really much more to say about that. Look out for the wall, and we're here, here we are. <laughs> I'm getting through these stages with a relative ease, except for that one death there, which was just me showing off. Well, you can't really show off if you fall to your death. I mean, that doesn't really count if you ask me. And as you see, we've got ourselves a awesome loop here. Well, it's not much of a loop, it's more of like a spiral of sorts. Loop is more vertical, like Sonic the Hedgehog walking in a... Yeah, you get the idea. And you'll notice our banana counter up there. When you get 20 bananas, you get a 1-up. I think it's 20 bananas? 6, 7, 18, 19... Yeah, I was right about that. So, there you go. Now you know that if you didn't notice that. And getting 1-ups is something that I definitely recommend for the later worlds if you have trouble getting through certain stages, you know, so you can get gold crowns on them and hopefully unlock world worlds 9 and 10. Oh, I, they are ridiculous to try and unlock, especially when you get to, like, world 6 through 8. And those are going to be ridiculously hard to gold crown. And you can either take... well, I can do... Yeah, you can either go this route or you can go through this right here, which is a lot riskier. This will take you directly to the goal, though. I will do this just for the fun of it. The <laughs> I was going to say, uh, the other path is a lot easier, but this one's not that hard, and then yet I fall to my death anyway. <laughs> well, as long as I died there and showed you how I can, you can basically get through that, even though I lost control somehow, I'll just take the normal route this time. All you have to do is hop over these wood beams of sorts, and don't let them knock you around. And this is just a couple of drops, not that hard to control. And this part, this one has holes, not that hard to control either. You just gotta uh, set it up so that you aren't trying to jump over 
a beam while crossing over to the other side to try to avoid a hole. Because that just won't work for you. <laughs> that beam will most likely knock you into a hole. And this is the first twisting beam structure that we're going to have to go across. Uh, the other twisting beam thing was the thing that I said that I decided that I didn't want to go across. Uh, because of its thinness and difficulty. Well, I guess it wouldn't be that difficult if I actually had better control. <laughs> I mean, m me having better control, not not the game. The game's controls are phenomenal. It responds perfectly to your tilting, as well as button presses, of course. And there we go, that was it. It's pretty much a straight run to the end here, except for these little bit bitty pyramids, which I am going to royally mess up because I went way too fast and got out of control. Uh, and have to restart from the beginning. Alas, that is the fate that the non-careful person would... Well, I should say that's... That it's, the word is reckless. Why would I say non-careful? I have no idea. I guess I'm just having one of my idiot days. <laughs> and... You, I bet you could actually get across that in one soup without having to wait for it. But I'm just going to be nice and careful and do it gently. There we go, even though I kind of fell off, or, or nearly fell off there. These little pyramids, you don't have to jump over them. You can just ride over them gently like that. I don't know why I'm jumping across them. <laughs> I guess because I just want to go at full speed at, at most times to uh, burn through the stages nicely. Now this one's got a bunch of different paths, but they all pretty much do the same thing, except they just, you know, there's one going left, but they lead to the same junction, and there's one going left, right, they le lead to the same junction. It's not really hard to tell that from the flyby as you've seen there, but just thought I would cover that in case you didn't notice. So you're not really missing anything by avoiding the other paths. See that slope right there is where the other path came from. And... This is going to lead us to Zigol, which is down this middle path here. Get ready to look out for this moving or tilting platform. And just one last slope and some more pyramids and then we're done. Oh, I, I forgot about that. There's this other tilting thingy here. Actually, there's two. I completely forgot about that. Oh, well. Not that hard to get through, just gotta wait for them to cross over. You know, wait for the one that you're on to be higher than the one that you're jumping onto. Make it as safe as possible. Don't touch the guardrails as you're falling, otherwise that can make you bounce off the edge as well. But that should be pretty obvious because, you know, when you drop a ball onto some- Ooh, lag! <laughs> when you drop a ball onto something uneven, it's gonna bounce in the direction that that- Whatever part of the slope or whatever it hits, you know? So it's it's basic physics. <laughs> um, you can jump onto these platforms if you would like to to get some bananas. If you, I mean, it, it's not really dangerous to do so, as you see that I'm demonst I'm demonstrating right here. Uh, but getting off of them is the tricky part. Got to carefully. There we go. So I'm not really gonna bother with that because I showed you how to get through one, and they're all pretty much the same. Except they get a little bit smaller as you go. Oh wait, maybe this this big one is actually. I mean, this is actually the biggest one. Uh, okay, maybe they don't. <laughs> oh, this one I guess you have to go on. Well, that explains it because it's the last one. That's why it's the biggest one. And wow, I'm really jammed in there. <laughs> How does a monkey jump inside a ball and propel the ball upwards anyway? It, see, that doesn't that doesn't look natural to me. Anyway, boss stage. I remember the stages more than I do the bosses, actually. Oh, I have to jump on the missiles to deflect them back at Lion Man there. Alright, bring it on! And yes, these boss stages do have a time limit, so you can't dilly-dally too much. Oh, 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 there we go. It just reverse, it reverses their direction and then it hits them. And then he, he doesn't really do much other than that, I think. Uh, there's other pathways as you seem to get bananas, like for one-ups and stuff like that. And, ow. Th that didn't really push me all that much, actually. It's kind of pathetic if you ask me, but anyway. It, so I guess if you need those one-ups, which I highly doubt you can get them. But, yeah. Bosses, until the later worlds, I recall being very, 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 very easy. So don't even worry about dying or anything like that. Just stay on the 
flat edges, I guess. So he looks like he's getting a little more aggressive, possibly. Uh, this might actually cause a... Yeah, that's going to cause a lot of damage to him. I think I could actually have combo jumped all of those. You know, like, reverse the direction of them, like, like get three of them on his butt, and just kill them flat off the bat. Well, right off the bat, excuse me. What is wrong with me? I don't know, but it doesn't matter because I completed another world. Oh. Yet another gold banana is added to our collection. She's trying to do the Kirby, but no one can do the Kirby except for Kirby. Only Kirby is the master of dancing. And no credits, press the A button to skip the credits. And I think that's all I'm going to be doing in this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part.